Oh, it's called. Okay, go to New York Times. Yeah, they called it. Okay, so uh, they're calling Deborah Lesko. Uh, so as we suspected, that looks like that's all the mail-in ballots. So even though there's less than 1% reporting, since it's 80% of the votes, uh, they think that that five, no, actually six, six point lead is is good enough to call. Yeah. And obviously those guys have a lot more info than we do on the nitty gritty of yeah. the different districts and the possibilities. Yeah, yeah, one thing that we didn't actually get into is there was some information of, um, they obviously couldn't release the early voting results, but they did have sort of the, the exit polling equivalent for it. And uh, it did seem to be more Republican than we would have hoped the early vote. Uh, what I wonder immediately is uh, when I see that, so obviously this is this is a special election, so it's not not a primary. It's actually for the House, but I wonder is it it's it's got to be back up in November then? Yes, so I wonder I believe if so. Harrell could rerun in yes, six months. Because here's why. So Brianna Westbrook. Here's why I know that. Here, Brianna Westbrook was just Democrat running against Harold Tepernini uh, in the primary, special election mm -hmm. primary, and she at the time she was planning to run against her again if Harrell yes. had won. Uh, the race, and they would have had another primary soon. Now, as it turned out, Brianna wound up supporting Tepernini, brought over all her volunteers and her infrastructure to help the, her fellow Democrat, even though they were had run uh, a tough but fair uh, contest within the primary. And we talked to Brianna tonight, and uh, and and they were all in on on helping uh, Tepernini. As it turns out, uh, you know, it looks like with New York Times calling it. Uh, that the Debbie Lesko, the Republican, is going to hold on to that seat. It's still uh, not great news for the Republicans. Good news, obviously, not that they keep the Trent Frank seat, but that's a plus 25 district that it, it appears they won by about six points. That means, just like in Pennsylvania's 18th district, they're consistently losing 19 points. Do you know what happens if that happens nationwide? Mm -hmm. A wave like you have never seen, because most political scientists, pollsters, etc., they have this huge system of ranking these different uh, districts: leans Republican, leans Democrat, likely Republican, definite Republican, etc. Right? And all those leans are gone. They're all Democrat if you've got a 19-point swing. And most of the likelies are gone, gone. Likely Republican turns into a Easy Democratic victory with a 19 point swing. It can't, I don't think it can be 19 points all across the country, but if it is, yeah. that's a tsunami. They'll barely hold on to seats like this. That was represented by Trent Franks. He resigned in a sex scandal. Uh, but Franks is, was, I mean, if not top 10, certainly top 20 conservative right wing zealot in, in, in the House. <laughs> If that's up for discussion, they're in a world of trouble yeah. in so many seats they wouldn't couldn't possibly imagine. Over 30 Republicans have already retired. You they're, think they're they, the smart ones. That's right. You think they don't <laughs> see what's coming? Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House, is retiring. He's in a Leans Republican district. It's only plus five. Randy Bryce was gonna beat him with a stick. And Iron Stash chased him out with a crowbar. So Daryl Ice is gone. Chased out by another just Democrat, Doug Applegate in that case. Applegate almost beat him last time around. Mm -hmm. This time he would have killed him, not even close. Charlie Dent is gone. So many of these Republicans you've been used to for a long, long time, for sometimes for decades, gone, gone, gone. And they're not leaving because, oh, you know, they decided that they need to. Paul Ryan's was great. I've got teenage <laughs> kids who don't want to spend time with me, so I'm going to go and spend time with them. He literally said that at the press conference. <laughs> Come up with a better excuse. <laughs> okay. So tonight, yes, it's a win for Lesko and the Republicans. It's a loss for Tipperanny and the Democrats. Uh, but that handwriting has met the wall, and so Republicans ought to be scared out of their minds about this result as well. I agree. Look, obviously, I would have preferred that Tipperanny had won here, and you know, I feel bad for Brianna Westbrook. You know, for her work there, at least in the short term. Um, but as you said, I mean, considering what it seems like that the 17 to 19 points that can happen nationally, it could also happen right here. So Debbie Lesko is going to get six months uh, in Congress. 
As a Republican, as we've predicted, she's gonna vote with Donald Trump 103% of the time. And so the, the only thing that's gonna be different in six months is that she is going to have tied herself to an incredibly unpopular president. In a few months, she might have an opportunity to do what's right for her country over what's right for Donald Trump. And like many Republicans, she's gonna choose to side with Donald Trump regardless of whatever comes out. And so she's gonna look even worse then. And maybe you can squeak by in a special election like this. But when when all of the, the, the promotion ahead of the election is going and people are getting really fired up for systemic change across the country, I mean, you might have made it for six months and that's great. You'll be able to say that you were a congresswoman for a little while, but I don't see it going up beyond that. Okay, so uh, election nights always come to the Young Turks, tytnetwork.com slash live. Uh, and next one's May 8th and it is gigantic. It's got Ohio, huge race there, Dennis Kucinich is up for governor, uh, and so many others. There's a lot of just Democrats in a lot of those races. Uh, and then also um, West Virginia, Joe Manchin versus Paul Jean Swearingen. So May 8th, trtnetwork.com slash live. Whenever there's an election, we'll be on and covering it and giving you all the details.